Okay, well, let me get to the biggest elephant in the room while we're having this discussion about, you know, all of us research programs and just research programs in general. Why should, well, let, me go, let me do a two-part question. Why is diversity important to this research program? And why should communities of color, and if we're two African-Americans, uh, participate in this program, and, you know, based on past history with, you know, communities of color and the, the medical industry? What's your thoughts on that? Well, um, back to there is no one size that fits all. And we are a diverse country of people made up of all kinds of folks from everywhere. And this, this particular research program is important to have a diverse group of participants in it because, first of all, we know that there are people who have not been represented fully in biomedical research. And so we need to know what mm -hmm. are, we, we need to understand what are these, what are types of treatment options, procedures, opportunities for, for drug development for folks that have not been a part of, mm -hmm. of research programs before. Um, and, you know, so there, there's this welcoming of, of diversity from that perspective, but then also, you know, in order to really just do health care and medicine better, you got to have different kinds of people in in these types of pro programs um, in order to understand diet or what is the best dosage of a particular medication for you know, an African-American woman who is 50 versus one, a, a white woman who is the same age. Like we, we just have to, we gotta have the diversity in these programs in order to understand and be better prepared for delivering healthcare in these very precise manner, manner. And the biggest thing too, I want to mention that, you know, you always hear the slogan health is well, mm -hmm. and the information that you all are giving, like, especially like the, the DNA information, like if you went outside and tried to get this, this would cost, and maybe you can back this up with me, thousands of dollars that you're literally getting, I wouldn't say for free, but yeah, absolutely. So there's value right there um, in that. You know, I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't, I don't go around just getting genetic testing done. You know, <laughs> all the time when I go to the doctor. So it is, you know, yeah. that definitely in itself is um, return of value to a participant. And then also, again, you know, the the things that we're learning and will continue to learn from the diversity of participants in the All of Us Research Program is mm -hmm. priceless, to be honest with you. I mean, you can't really put a price on knowing that a particular um, medication or even a device is, mm -hmm. has, you know, works really well with mm -hmm. A, a 25 to 44 year old individual versus something else. So it's th those kinds of um, results or discovery or information coming from the All of Us program is important um, as well. I will say this real quickly. I was watching the news yesterday and mm -hmm. I saw a story about a young man who was, he was a wrestler um, mm -hmm. in high school and he had an eating disorder mm -hmm. and his mother wasn't aware that this was going on um, because most of the screening and most of the work that we understand around eating disorders is with women, it, mm -hmm. with females, not not males. Mm -hmm. And clinicians are are um, are looking at the number of missed menstrual cycles with women to determine whether or not there is there may be something happening with an eating disorder. Well, you wouldn't be able to do that with mm -hmm. a male. Um, so I thought that was just an interesting interesting story about how we need to know more about eating disorders with young men because this this particular guy he was like you know I was he was very acutely aware of his weight because he was mm -hmm. an athlete but he wasn't really talking about that with his family his parents weren't really looking for that his 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 doctors weren't looking for that mm -hmm. um but an eating disorder can cause a lot of health concerns a lot of oh, health yeah. issues 
Um, and this was a man, a young man that we were talking about. So back to just needing diversity of people in this in the program, because there's so many things that we don't know or that we know for a particular subgroup of people and we don't know for another. Um, and, that, and just using that as a general example of why it's important for all kinds of folks to be in the All of Us Research Program. Now, as I mentioned... Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.